Hey, it's Janet with Radiant Realty. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay a while. Today we are continuing on in our tour of affordable homes within Flathead County, Montana. Last week I took you around Kalispell. This week we are going to see a few homes in Whitefish, Montana and Columbia Falls. And if any of these interest you or you're interested in possibly moving to the area or selling a home in the area, definitely reach out. I would be honored to help you. You might have have noticed last week I put some um, text when I was showing you new build communities. Every builder here works a little differently so if you are interested in one of those new builds I would love it if you reached out to me before contacting them. That way I will definitely have the privilege of um, just a second set of eyes reviewing contracts, timelines, all that good stuff and it's at no cost to you of course and I will work quickly to get you connected with them. I know the market is hot. I know that you want in on it uh, while the getting's good and if you aren't local I'm happy to do virtual tours too and walkthroughs of homes to just give you a better idea of the area, the surroundings, and the home itself. All right let's get into it. All right you guys we are in Whitefish now. This is off of Highway 93 as you're heading into Whitefish from Kalispell. Happy Valley subdivision. It does not appear to have any HOAs, covenants, or restrictions. So it's kind of an anything goes subdivision, which I know some people really like. There's some wide open space down here, which is nice. Some other homes on the street. This is a dirt road, by the way. Okay, I turned around to see if we could get a better view of the house from this direction. Something to be aware of is that giant hill that you're going to get to climb. You're definitely going to need four-wheel drive, as I've already said here. I do have a winter driving video. If you haven't already checked that out and you're considering moving here, you might want to do so. This is the house right here. 331 Deer Trail, Whitefish, Montana. Three bedrooms, one full bathroom. Built in 1985, 1,918 square feet of living space and a one car garage. 325,000 dollars list price. So that is 93 up above this building. I'm not really sure what that is. You see the guardrails there? That's for Highway 93. drive-through places in Montana and somehow miraculously they all stay in business <laughs> or not miraculously I think it's because we have so much so many cold days here everybody needs coffee okay so if you wanted to live here and head up to the mountain to ski can't really see it very well because of the clouds, but it's right there. Be about a 15 minute drive to Whitefish Mountain Resort. But if you wanted to, you could take the snow bus, which picks up about five minutes from here, right in the Super One Mountain Mall parking lot. All right, you guys, time for coffee break. This Starbucks just opened in Whitefish. Starbucks isn't necessarily my favorite coffee shop. We have plenty of them in the Valley. I think Montana Coffee Traders is my favorite, but they just opened, so I wanted to check them out. So, um, also, I love their cinnamon dolce latte. Have you tried it? It's delicious.
Thank you. Absolutely. How are you doing today? All right, so downtown Whitefish. This is actually next to the Mountain Mall Super One, so you can walk to the snow bus from here. This is 708 Greenwood Drive in Whitefish. It's a two bedroom, one bathroom, 1,040 square feet. Built in 1984, listed for 315,000. This one is already under contract. <laughs> no garage, but it does have the carport, which is nice. That'll keep the snow off for you. Okay, guys, we are coming up on another Whitefish downtown listing. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom. It's not that black one. That's a nice new builder. It's this little bungalow next door. 817 Park Avenue in Whitefish. It is 660 square feet and listed for 319,000. And this one also is under contract. So that one <laughs> is going off the market, but that just shows you how quickly they're going for and um, 660 square feet, 319,000. That's kind of crazy, but look at it. There's a deer in this neighbor's yard. So cute. <sighs> and it's the lifestyle. You have Whitefish Mountain right there. You have Glacier National Park within a half an hour. Hiking, biking, skiing, snowshoeing all of the outdoor activities you would want. And we're just going to go by that house from the other direction, heading back south. There goes a little deer. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Barman Road. show you these trail view way um, homes they do have income limitations and they are already reserved um, I'm told that a couple more might come available fourth quarter of 2021 so if you are interested in these reach out to me as soon as possible and we will try to get them get one of them held for you if possible and you also have rules on when you can when you sell them you cannot sell them for more than a three percent increase each year so not necessarily great for an investment property but they are super adorable in whitefish you do have it is across from this thing which mostly is fields but the fence is kind of daunting but let's go ahead and take a look. The bike path is right there. You see that lamp post? That is the bike path and walking path that goes down by the river and into downtown Whitefish. So that's really nice access to that. And it looks like they do have garages. And via the back, back alley again. walking bike path and these are on the corner of Vorman and Monaghan if you're looking on the map in Whitefish that's going to be Whitefish Middle School Whitefish High School and if you wanted to walk into town you certainly could do so from here Check them out. Okay, so straight ahead, you see that 
sign on that building that says model open. That's Alta Views Condos. This bridge we're going over is Whitefish River. That's what I was saying the walking path goes by. And you'll see the walking path here as we cross over. So this is the next phase of building for Alta Views. They have community hot tubs, game room, party room. These do have garages, which is nice. And I love the windows great windows in these. Nice and big. That is 93 out there. Over here you do have a car dealership. should be mentioned so hang tight and we're almost done okay so this is 31 grace road in columbia falls this one is listed for 379 it's three bedroom two bath 2224 square feet of living space two car attached garage 0.26 acre lot nice corner lot see a skylight in there some privacy with the trees and you guys this one is under contract too <laughs> I'm sorry I'm showing you all these under contract but it's just a crazy market here right now and things go super fast a little bit more of the neighborhood exit you have lumber yard and then super one grocery store is right there by that flag so that's convenient if you need to run out for groceries if you forgot something for dinner that's great and you guys I don't want you to be discouraged um, I'm sorry I'm showing you a lot of contingent homes it's just that they're going so quickly here right now that it's what we've got to work with so here's the thing if you're thinking you want to move here and you haven't already reached out to me reach out to me I don't care if it's two years down the road that's fine you can never start too early if you change your mind that's fine it's not gonna be that much work to get you set up on some property updates and alerts so you can 
start seeing and getting a feel for what you can get for a certain amount of money market updates for the cities that you're interested in and then also we can talk pre-approval for lending loans if you need that if you have somebody that you want to use that's great if you don't I have a guy that helped us get into our home we had to do kind of a bridge loan thing because we had to close on the new home before the closing on our current home that was for sale so there are definitely options out there so just get in touch with me all right we're gonna move on to another one in Columbia Falls so hang tight all right, you guys, this is a cute little neighborhood. That is the backside of Columbia Falls High School and sporting fields right there. And coming in here on Hidden Cedar Loop. Got a little bit of a snow squall here coming in. Okay, so this one was listed for $389,999. It's 3,232 square feet, three bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage. The main floor is 1,822 square feet, bonus room above the garage. And then it's an unfinished 1,410 square feet in the basement. Not a huge lot, it's 7,405 square feet lot. But you have a little bit of a side yard here build a snowman in. Cute little porch. And this one as well is contingent. right there. That's nice. see that on the sign there so this is another one outside of Columbia Falls to the east a bit past over Flathead River past Big Sky Water Park this is a 0.6 acre lot three bedroom two bathroom 2496 square feet of living space listed for $315,000 this one is also contingent One car garage on that. No covenants, no HOAs. And then this home here, 354 3rd Avenue, East North in Columbia Falls. Two bedroom, one bathroom, 1,182 square feet of living space for 255,000. This one is contingent as well. Cute little porch on there.
doghouse, cute two car garage. And this area is closer to Nucleus app. So right there's the post office. So you can walk to the downtown restaurants and shops from here. And also just a word of warning when I say you can walk places, I love to walk. <laughs> so what might be walkable for me, you may think is crazy. But see, there's the post office. We didn't go that far. Down there is the grocery store. Dentist, business plaza. show you these couple that I'm not driving to but this one right here is a homesteader's dream it is nestled in the woods it's a little north of Columbia Falls on almost three acres has approximately 450 feet of nine mile creek frontage a large huckleberry patch which around here that is gold <laughs> purple gold we call it um, let's see multiple trails within short walking distance two different lakes for fishing swimming canoeing and biking within walking distance as well as the flathead river it's solar powered electric wood stove propane range composting toilet has a tiny little guest cabin they say it's charming I say it's sufficient and a workshop so if you are into homesteading this is your dream right here 875 square feet of living space a uh, second level says 200 square feet it is two bedrooms one bathroom 2.69 acres and it is listed for two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars you guys that's a steal really i mean i get it you don't really have running water and <laughs> a flushing toilet but come on it's gorgeous property so i know that's going to interest somebody and then i also wanted to show this one this is again for the lot great location it's just outside of kalispell this is a half acre lot with ashley creek frontage it includes a two bedroom, one bathroom manufactured home and a shop shed thing. Um, the manufactured home, two bedrooms, one bath, it's listed for $170,000. So if you're looking to get here and you are on the lower end of the budget with the <laughs> crazy increase, these are some good options and I just wanted to present those to you. And hopefully next month we can do the next price range up. So we'll do 400 to 800,000 next month and I will take you guys around the valley. And again, I didn't get to Big Fork and Lakeside this time because there just wasn't that much. There were maybe a couple single homes in Lakeside, not neighborhoods, and then a couple condos in Big Fork currently. But um, if you are interested in those areas in this price point, then just let me know and I will get you set up with some property updates so that you can see those as they come available. All right, you guys, that covers it. Wow, I hope you enjoyed that tour. I would love to hear in the comments below which house was your favorite or neighborhood and why. And then I would also love to help you